Hello all and welcome to another video. In this video I will share my experience while using the Pulsar X2 V2 with the 4K dongle and compare the polling rate stability to the Viper 8K wire mouse. In order to pair the 4K dongle with the mouse, you need to download the pairing app from the Pulsar website. It looks like this. Change the language to English as it will be easier to follow the instructions. To pair the 4K dongle, you need to press pair, enter key using the keyboard and hold M1 plus mouse scroll plus M2 buttons for 3 or 4 seconds. You should see the dongle blinking blue and in the pairing up, if successful, you will see per success and next to it the address for the mouse in green. Now in the Pulsar app, in the performance tab, we have the 2K and 4K options available. When selecting another polling rate, like 4K for instance, the mouse will freeze for more than 3 seconds in order to apply the new polling rate. In order to verify, you can go in the same section in the Pulsar app to see if the polling rate was changed. Now, let's have a look at the polling rate values when doing slow movements like minor aim adjustments at 2K and 4K. Take note that it's easier to reach a 2K polling rate using 1600 dpi than 4K. You need faster movements to reach 4K. Think of fast swipes in FPS games. And if you think this happens because of the wireless connection, this is not true, as wire mice behave the same. Just have a look. Minor movements, lower polling values, fast movements, higher values. Let me show you side by side the 2K polling rate stability when comparing the Viper 8K wired against the Pulsar with the 4K dongle. Both look clean to me. I didn't observe any connection issues while gaming with a 2K polling rate. I gamed a bit with the wired mouse set at 2K and I couldn't tell the difference. I actually played worse because of the wired connection. Now, let me show you the 4K polling rate graphs. Looking at the plot, nothing out of the ordinary. The 4K polling rate is stable and while gaming I didn't feel any difference between the wired and the wireless mouse. As I don't have a NVIDIA LDAT, I can't give stats regarding click latency. As Pulsar is using a Compu firmware, which is not developed by them like Razer or Logitech do, I tried some options available in the engineering tab from the pairing app. All testing was done using high fixed frequency, but I can't tell if it's working or not as I didn't feel or see any difference using mouse tester. I tried high frequency reception and high frequency carrier, but I don't have any info about what this option should do. So, do I perform better when using 2K or 4K over the 1K polling rate? The answer is no. I didn't see an improvement as I played Apex 2 days using a 2K polling rate and after 2 days using a 4K polling rate and I couldn't tell if there is a difference. After, I reverted to 1K and I didn't feel any drawbacks when going from 4K to 1K. Where 4K helps, I think, is to make the mouse cursor more fluid paired with high refresh displays like 240 or above. Given the price of the mouse, in my opinion, the extra cost of the dongle is not worth it. I think that this mouse should be bundled with it. Adding the costs, the mouse is as expensive as the Super Light 2 and that one is available on Amazon. Compared to my other mice, I don't find it better than the Orochi V2, but I can feel the weight difference. The grip is a bit different as well, but not by much, I can claw grip them both. Comparing it to the Super Light, I like playing more with small mice, so the Super Light now just sits in its box. It's not better or worse, it's just that I like more the shape and size. The mouse is good and the 4K dongle is not needed as it doesn't make the mouse better, you are the one who can do that. If you can get the dongle from Amazon, try it for yourself and you can decide if it's worth to keep or just return it. Keep in mind that at 4K the battery lasts a bit more than 3 days with heavy usage while at 2K it can reach almost 6 days. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button. See you in the next one.